This is Fox 43 Morning News. Pina coladas sure are tasty, but rum can do a lot more than just add a little kick to your drinks. It can also spice up your dinner sauces. Here's Chef Donna Basor. Hi, I'm Chef Donna Desfour coming to you from the Baudelaire Onion Tasting Room in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. We are in the throes of summer, and whether it's a backyard barbecue or a beach clam bake, there's nothing more wonderful than the Caribbean flavors and a little bit of rum-inspired cocktails and fun. I've chosen Zaya rum today, and Zaya rum comes from Trinidad, which is the very southernmost part of the Caribbean. It's super delicious in cocktails, but it's even more super delicious when you make a nice little basting sauce for your backyard barbecue. And I'm gonna show you how to do a little rum butter sauce. What I'm gonna use is a stick of butter, a half a cup of brown sugar, we're gonna use about a tablespoon of lemon zest, a half teaspoon of vanilla bean paste, and if you don't have van vanilla bean paste, you can use uh, just a regular vanilla bean, a little bit of heavy cream, and of course, our Zaya rum. You're gonna put that butter in. You're gonna start letting it melt over a pretty low heat. I'm gonna add my brown sugar, but now I'm gonna add my cream. And what the cream is gonna do is that's gonna bind that sauce together. If the butter sauce gets too hot, that brown sugar is going to separate from the butter, and we don't want that. So here's the vanilla bean paste. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in. And we're just gonna let this all melt together. And when it comes to a boil, you're gonna see little bubbles start appearing on the edge. Okay, so you've reached the point where everything's melted and all the flavors are starting to combine. I'm gonna turn the heat off. Now I do this because I don't want this rum to ignite. So I'm gonna take my rum, I'm gonna add it into the sauce. And I'm just gonna give it a little stir. You see how it's gonna start to bubble? That's the alcohol that's actually starting to cook off. So after about 15 seconds, when that rum has warmed, then I can turn the flame back on. I'm gonna let this boil off for about another minute more. And I'm just gonna give it a nice final brush. You smell those flavors are amazing. It's buttery, it's got a little bit of a cognac and bourbon taste. And look at that, beautiful lobster tails. I've got some pork kebabs with some tropical fruit. I've got some ham kebabs that I've made up. What could be better? For these and other great recipes, visit me at there's a chef in my kitchen.com or go to Fox 43 where you'll find this great butter rum recipe, but you'll also find a terrific variation, a lime infused, uh, a lime spice infused uh, sauce, great for the kebabs and great for fruits that you grill. Looks delicious, Chef Donna. Thank you.